It is now time for Ask the Expert. Financial freedom means different things for different people. For some, it means just being able to live comfortably. For others, it's never having to work again. No matter your definition, there's one thing everyone can agree on. Mm -hmm. It starts with getting out of debt. That's why we have certified financial planner Tony Drake, and he's here to talk about the five habits of debt-free and people that will get you uh, on the path things that will get you on that path to financial freedom. Is it We're possible ready. to be debt-free? <laughs> it's possible. If you have some debt and you're not alone, 80% of Americans are living in debt. So yeah. first step is getting track of that debt. You gotta be organized, write it down, know what you're paying. If you don't have a good debt worksheet, we have one at the website, wealthwisconsin.com. And obviously you gotta start paying it off. There's two methods to do that. Mm -hmm. First method is more of a psychological one. You pay off the smallest balances. Ideas there, you'll get excited, get some momentum as those get paid off mathematical one is you knock out the high interest first so I like the snowball effect so how does one sort of reach that goal you're saying you just you got to take it step by step yeah it really is a step-by-step -step process first first step is really identifying that and really getting on the path to deciding that this is important in your life sometimes it doesn't seem like a couple dollars here a couple dollars there is gonna make a big difference but if you can knock out that debt then think of it this way that paycheck you take home is all yours it's you don't true. have to give any to anybody you get to keep it put it towards things that you might enjoy and that's that's the benefit I'm assuming of becoming debt free you're able to keep more of the money for right, yourself. you got to be careful not to get back into debt so you want to make sure that you have that budget that thing nobody likes to do but then you can put money when you went for vacations holidays retirement you get to keep all the check and you're not not losing an interest so let's look at the habits of debt free people what is that so the first you know a couple different habits that really uh, seem to be commonplace with folks that are debt free and a couple of Ignore those are your neighbors well we all, oh, we all living like the Joneses right, living like the okay. Joneses right. right you really have to set your plans decide what's important to you and you have to spend less than you are and this mm -hmm. is a big that's one. simple math there it's simple math but it seems like Americans don't do that very well, well and so. I understand why it's hard but uh, pay attention to details yeah, a lot of it's in the details sometimes you have a gym membership you're not going anymore mm -hmm. you have to mm -hmm. watch that you're still getting charged on a credit card if you're not organized, maybe end up paying late fees, things of that nature. So you really got to watch out for that. And value, hand, hand me downs. Hand me downs, and just things of value. You know, we find that folks that are debt free, even if they can afford it, they don't always pay full price. So you got to look out for coupons, deals, hand me downs, ways that you can save a little bit of money. Sometimes those extra dollars don't seem like a lot, but they really add up. In a short term society, you say you got to think what? Got to think long term. So, you know, I see it every day with my retired folks that come in and or folks that are wanting to retire. Mm -hmm. Some of them have done the hard work, they're living their dreams, they're having a great time. Others are really struggling and they're not anywhere near what they imagined in retirement. And, and I know the point you're trying to make here because it's better to live within your means, not to spend more and spend less, but there, it, debt can also help you tax-wise as well, right? And in terms of interest that you might pay. And so you, that's always a part of the balance sheet, isn't it? There are some benefits where you can write off some interest. Sometimes it doesn't have as big of an effect as it sounds like. I mean, the home mortgage obviously oh, does okay. is the one. And student right. loan debt. And, yeah. Yep, student More loan interest. debt you can write off. But sometimes if you look at the interest rates, the benefit isn't quite there. It isn't quite there. All right, good to know. Have a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your screen.